The Quest 3 is an amazing device, giving us double the performance of the Quest 2 with a much slimmer form factor. That being said, is it finally time to ditch your laptop for one of these? The transition from monitors to VR headsets is steadily underway, and with the size and weight of these headsets shrinking with every iteration, I wouldn't be surprised if more people started adopting this hardware for schoolwork or even their job. In this video, I'm going to be going over the benefits of working in VR, share my experiences writing and editing in mixed reality, and explain where things should be improved and hold the medium back. Before we get into the video, if you like this kind of content and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Making VR content recently has been extremely fun, so if there's anything you want me to talk more in depth about, please let me know down in the comments. It's important to preface this video by saying that the Quest 3 is a very capable device, but the apps just aren't really there yet. For some of the more software dependent work, I've had to connect to my desktop via the Immersed app, but since I'm still in mixed reality, it's still worth mentioning. So what can you do with the standalone Quest 3? Honestly, for me, everything I could possibly ask for, at, at least when it comes to schoolwork. I'm a bit ashamed to admit it, but prior to a few days ago, I didn't know you could connect any Bluetooth keyboard to the Quest 3. I honestly thought it was just the Apple and Logitech models approved by Meta. This discovery has really opened my eyes to how productive I can be in mixed reality. To connect your Bluetooth keyboard, just go to the Bluetooth settings on your Quest, set your keyboard into pairing mode, and click it when it appears. It's seriously that simple. Now you can respond to emails, code, even write the script to this video, all without having to deal with the clunky, floating keyboard offered to us by Meta. Moving on from the keyboard though, how does it actually feel to work in VR or MR? Long story short, it feels great. If you've ever experienced the transition from one monitor to two and realized how game-changing it is, this is the next step up. Currently, you're allowed to have three screens up with the Meta browser, being able to shrink and enlarge them as you see fit. This is honestly as much as I need for basic schoolwork, having my emails up on one screen, YouTube on another, and whatever I'm currently working on on the main screen. The main downside to working in the Quest 3 is that I've had to use the Meta browser for most of my productivity, at least when I'm working in standalone. This isn't a big concern, I still have access to Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Replit, but I'm really looking forward to getting access to Microsoft 365, as was teased at the previous Meta Connect. Mark said that it was going to be released by the end of the year, so hopefully it's not too much longer. A couple of other downsides are the lack of a mouse and the battery life. The controllers work fine, but there's just something about the immediate precision of a mouse that can't be replaced. Luckily, since I spend most of my school time writing, I don't really need to be moving the cursor around all that much. The battery life speaks for itself though. Unless you're constantly plugged into a power bank or the wall, you'll get 1-2 to two hours of productivity at most, depending on how many screens you use. All in all, standalone productivity still has a long way to go, but I feel like it's more than enough for basic work. Things get a lot more interesting when you connect the Quest 3 to a desktop though giving you access to otherwise inaccessible programs. This part of the video is going to be more focused on the replacement of physical monitors rather than laptops, since all the stuff I'm going to be bringing up requires you to be connected to an external source. I've been primarily editing this video in mixed reality, and I honestly might stick to doing it like this. The flexibility granted to you when you can move your screens anywhere in your play space at any size is really refreshing. As I mentioned earlier, I'm using the Immersed app. And from what I've seen, there are a ton of quirks and features you can mess around with to get your perfect setup. It's been really hard to think of issues with this as a monitor replacement, but if I really had to nitpick, this is what I'd say. As with using the standalone Quest 3, the battery life is still an issue, so if you're not directly plugged into your PC, I'd suggest investing in a decent power bank. Another small issue that can also be attributed to standalone use is that the mixed reality isn't perfect, so I've caught myself squinting at times in order to better see my keys at certain points. In addition to this, the comfortability of the headset also makes it tough to work in for extended periods of time. The head strap is fine in my opinion, but the facial interface is where I have my problem, just overall uncomfortable on the face. If you're able to overlook these issues though, you can have some pretty amazing customizable screens in VR not only for productivity, but for gaming and entertainment as well. And with the tap of the headset, you can go from mixed reality to full immersion instantly. The Quest 3 is a game changer when it comes to productivity and entertainment. Is it a perfect replacement for a laptop? Depending on what you spend your time doing, maybe. If you primarily spend your time in high-intensity apps and programs, editing or rendering, maybe not. 
but if you just want to watch YouTube while responding to emails or writing an essay in a completely foreign way than what you're used to, maybe you should give it a try. If the former does apply to you though, the capabilities of the Quest 3 still aren't anything to scoff at. With the ability to expand your workspace with one or two extra monitors at any size or distance away from you, I think the Quest 3 is still a useful tool if you want to improve your productivity. Even if you aren't going to use it for work, being able to have a Discord call, YouTube, and a game up and running all in front of you at once without having to swap screens is value enough at a fraction of what it would have cost with quality physical screens. So those are my opinions on the Quest 3 being a laptop or a monitor replacement. This is really subjective and it honestly has a lot to say what your workload looks like for this to apply to you. But even if you aren't going to be replacing your laptop, a few extra monitors never hurt. If you enjoyed the video, it would mean a lot if you would like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. Thanks.